teacher. I'm going to walk you through the new lesson plan notebook that I've created. I'm a K-6 reading specialist and I see small groups and students with students K through 6 and I couldn't quite find a teacher planner that would work for me in my situation. I just didn't need a big teacher planner. I have a digital calendar that I use that I sync to um, with all of my school information and so I didn't have a use for that. So let me show you what I came up with. I'm going to demonstrate just with a, a sample um, notebook here and let's make it a first grade notebook since first grade is the grade I taught when I was in the classroom. Make it first grade. Let's make that nice and big, center it, and there we go. We're ready with our first grade notebook. I would like to thank you for your purchase or for considering a purchase. If you're not sure that this binder is for you, this video is definitely for you. I'm going to walk you through what's in it and you can decide if it's something that you're interested in. Let's go. Back to the cover page. All of the tabs that you see have links within the PDF document. I probably should have told you I um, uploaded this PDF document into the app Notability. Now you can use it in another note-taking app. I'm using Notability because that's what the district I work for provides me with, so that's what I'm going to use. Let's go to the table of contents. Right. This just explains the tabs here up at the top, the notebook cover, go to the birdhouse, you want to go to the table of contents, you're going to go to the book. These next set of tabs, one through eight, are tabs that you can customize. And I'm going to show you how I maybe would use um, these customized tabs. The first thing I know I'm going to need is the school calendar. So I can get to that customized tab either here or I can tap on the one there. I put a text box in here just to remind me 2021, 2022. When that calendar is available, I'll just copy it and paste it and put it right in here. The idea I have for tab number two is for those collaboration meetings. I'm going to want to take notes at those collab meetings. So what I want to do is I want to add a page after this cover tab on tab two. And I want to add a page with lined notes. Let me show you how I did that. If you go back to the table of contents, I've created some extra template pages here for you at the bottom. One of the pages that I created um, was for lined notes. There's also a page that is unlined that you could use as well, but I want to copy this one. I'm going to go to the three dots. I'm going to copy that page. Then I'm going to go back to tab, um, that tab two where I want to put it. I'm on that um, this collaboration meeting notes tab, and then I would click paste, and then that's how it added yours it would be a blank note but I just started taking some notes there for you to show you how that would work so that's how I envision some of those tabs working let's go back to the table of contents the next section I have here is more about student information I need to keep track of who is in this first grade group right so I'm going to tap there and I have just a summary list of students. Um, I started making a list here. I inserted James into this group. That's my son. I don't think he minds too much if I use him. He is not a first grader anymore. Um, but James, his classroom teacher, and then the enter date. I have room for 10 students. I don't typically have 10 students, but if I exit a student, I might put another one in. So it just in this notebook, I have room for data for 10. For 10 students. All right, let's go back to the table of contents and let's talk about the individual student information. I went ahead and wrote James's name here on the first one. If I click on that, it takes me to the cover page for just his section. Again, I wrote his name, 
The first piece I have here is for family contact information. So I put his name there. My name here is mom. And then I just made a text box and I typed in my email address. This would be a great email address for you too if you would like to contact me or have any questions. Uh, my email, tprt at thepurplereadingteacher.com. Now, the great part of taking the time to type these email addresses in is I tap on it. If I tap on new message, it's going to open up my email, start an email already addressed to mom, and I just need to type the message. Super excited about that. All right, let's go back to oh, James's cover page. Next, there's a communication log. Again, I wrote his name in there. I know there's only a spot here for three, um, but again, you're going to open up the little thumbnails, go to this page, and now you're just going to copy, click on it again, and then paste and it'll duplicate this page for you. All right, again, always tap on his name, student number one, it'll take you back to his cover page. Now I have room for um, quite a bit of assessment information. Okay, so let's go to the summary. There's space here for quite a few different assessments and room for five different administrations so that you can enter. Let me show you what I'm going to do as an example here with the core phonics assessment. Okay, clicked on his name, I go back to his cover page. Assessment number one, It's again, it's going to be that core phonics. The cover page, so I just wrote his name, and again, core. Now, what I've done here is I've inserted two of the pages for the core reading phonics. Phonic, core phonics um, assessment. Let me show you how I did that. I went here to the plus sign, went to my photos. I've already inserted page one and two, so let's just say I wanted to insert page three. I'm going to add that here. All right, and it puts that third page in there for me. Now, here's the great part. Well, oh, don't know what happened to um, <laughs> my page there. I'm not sure what I what I um, tapped on. Ah, there we go, it was just thinking. So here's the great part of this digital notebook, right? I can zoom in and zoom out. So when James is sitting in front of me, I'm giving him the assessment, I can be recording his information. Then I can tuck it away, it's easily organized and I can see it. Let's say you don't want to do that. Let's say you want to be able to print these pages easily. Another way to do that, I'm on this cover page again. I opened up the thumbnails. I see that I am on this page. It's outlined in blue. And I just went to add a page. When you do that, it adds a totally blank page. So then, again, you go to your photo library decide what you want to insert and put it in there. So maybe it's a new cover page. Yes, it starts out small, but I can make it bigger. And then after I have this filled out, I could take a screenshot and very easily print it or email it to the teacher or to a parent. So a couple of different ways to organize the assessment data. There's room for three assessments. Um, here with tabs, you could always insert more. There's also um, just an extra tab for other information. I have some ideas for that other information too. I'll show you that in just a second. All right, let's take a look at the calendars. As you can see, it's a July start. Okay, July through June. I don't start school until August, so let's go to August. Clicking on that tab just takes me to the monthly view. Now you can use this like any digital planner and put in your special days. All right. Um, one thing I know I'm going to use it for is attendance. So let's just say that on Friday the 20th, James was absent. 
I'm just going to make a note of that. It's just going to be a little bit easier way for me to um, keep track of attendance. Let's look at how to plan a particular day. So I'm going to click on August 18th and I've inserted a few things here to show you. Um, I wrote in August the 18th, right, and it's a Wednesday, so I used my highlighter to highlight. That's a Wednesday. I inserted a sticky note, and I can show you where those are in just a moment, and I also inserted this lesson template. Now, you could use your lesson template, of course, but I have provided one for you that you might be interested in. I'm going to go back to the table of contents. Down here again where I have these additional pages. It's where you're going to find the sticky notes that you saw inserted and that power lesson. I'm going to click on that page. And you're going to copy and paste both this um, lesson template um, and the sticky notes. Oh, I thought those were close there. There must be in a different, a different spot here. Okay, so lasso tool. I'm gonna lasso that lesson plan. Oop, I don't know if I quite caught the edge of that. I'm gonna try that again. Didn't quite catch the edge, there we go. Okay. I'm going to copy that, go back to August the 18th, as soon as that page loads, I do need to wait for that to load just so that I catch the link, there we go, takes me to the 18th, and then I just but that's what I did, I just copied and pasted. And now I can write on that. And the great thing about it is that works just like a sticky note. I can write on there, create my lessons, create my sticky notes. Now, the sticky notes I was thinking, um, definitely something I could copy and paste, again, and put it in that other information tab. There's one other page that I'd like to show you and it goes along with this um, Power Phonics lesson. In the writing section, I found it was really great to keep track of students writing and actually have a copy of it. So just as a bonus, here for you, let's go to the writing dictation. There we go. And this is just my direction to you. This is the writing dictation paper for the um, Purple Power Phonics lesson. You can use the lasso, copy and paste it if you like. Toggle over here, and you'll see that I did just insert one on the, on the um, next page that's blank. You could easily take a screenshot um, and print it out or give it to your kids digitally. But that is just a nice way to keep track of their writing. If you have any questions, um, anything you want me to add, um, or just any feedback, I would certainly appreciate that. Again, you can email me, tprt at thepurplereadingteacher.com. Thank you.